Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the different perk slots and how this change to Vanguard Royale really kind of uh, changes the perk meta for, for Warzone. This is a pretty big deal. They changed a bunch of stuff about it, but the big one is that UAVs can no longer be purchased. Um, you can still get UAVs from contracts, but it's not super easy, so not very many people are going to have UAVs. And um, obviously you get uh, you get the advanced UAV from the, uh, from the big game bounties, but even if you have Ghost with the big game bounty, you still show up. So... Um, really, you don't need to run Ghost nearly as much anymore. There's also no heartbeat sensors, there's no snapshots, there's no anything that would make you need to run a specific perk to hide from the enemy, pretty much. So now we can we can start talking about all the different perks. Another huge change that's going to be factored into our perk selection is how they changed armor plating. So now when you put in an armor plate, it'll fill up a whole armor plate, even if you have a slight amount of damage done to your current plate. Um, so obviously, the reason we're going to talk about that is for Tempered. This makes it so Tempered immediately always gives you at least 75 extra health, which is a huge amount. Um, so that makes Tempered much, much better than it was before. I'm not going to waste a bunch of time by going through every single perk and explaining what they do. I do want to talk about a few things that might not be clear in the descriptions of the perks, because the perks in game are, are pretty well described in general. Um, but a couple things that I've found or learned over the time playing COD. Um, so first off, in perk 1 slot EOD, something they don't mention is that it resets the cooked grenade timer. So frags are super popular right now in Vanguard Royale. Um, so what this does is even if they cooked the frag and threw it at you, and it's like a millisecond from blowing up, if you pick it up to throw it back at them, it resets that timer. So it won't ever blow up in your hand if you pick up a frag grenade that's thrown at you. So that's actually a pretty big plus of EOD. Um, scavenger, I put a question mark because I'm not even sure if this does anything at this point in Warzone. Um, this is not something that's not stated, but I just wanted to go over it really quickly. What different perks counter different things because it's kind of confusing. So Cold-Blooded in perk 1 slot counters High Alert and Combat Scout, that's it, doesn't counter anything else. Um, and then Ghost counters UAVs of course, Heartbeat Sensors, and Recon Drones. So in Vanguard Royale, none of those three things are there. So Ghost is kind of not even worth using at all in Vanguard Royale anymore, which is pretty cool. I actually like that we have um, different perk options that we can use. Um, and then Point Man, Point Man says that it increases money from contracts. Um, apparently some people have done some testing on this and it does actually increase your weapon XP slightly. Um, and that's because it makes your contract multiplier go up faster. So it'll only increase your weapon XP if you're actually doing contracts to level your weapon. Um, because as soon as you do one contract, you get a bigger multiplier for the next one. And supposedly this increases your weapon XP slightly. I have not personally tested this, so I can't confirm that. But uh, when I asked on Twitter, multiple people said that it did slightly increase their weapon XP. Um, and then uh, snapshots. So snapshots are the grenades that you throw that show people through walls. Um, the only thing that counters that is Battle Hardened. It's not Ghost, it's not Cold-Blooded, that's a common misconception, a lot of people think it's Cold-Blooded. Um, and nobody's running Battle Hardened right now, so... Snapshots are actually in an extremely good spot for regular BR mode, um, because nobody has Battle Hardened, and they increase the radius on Snapshots to like 30 meters, so... They hit people through walls from super, super long range. So if you use like the Driller perk or FMJ or something for bullet penetration, and you have Combat Scout, and you have Restock, and you have Snapshots, that's actually a super good loadout. Your whole team can also see the people when they show up, uh, whereas it used to just be you. So your whole team can start beaming people through walls. And for some reason, all the walls are like paper in Caldera. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but it makes it so you can really uh, just fry people through walls. So that combination is very powerful right now. On to the actual recommendations now for perk combinations. Um, we're going to start with Vanguard Royale, and then I'll talk about regular BR a little bit as well. Um, perk 1, Cold-Blooded, is super, super good right now. I've talked about that a little bit, but just because it hides you from Combat Scout, which most people are running, um, it's just kind of a necessary perk right now. You can get away with EOD. Um, it's not a bad perk as well. And then we'll talk about Double Time here in a second. But um, And to go with that, because it's Vanguard Royale, you don't need Ghost anymore, pretty much at all. Um, so now you can pick one of the top three other perks, and the top two, I would say, are Tempered or Restock. Um, obviously, restock stims is super powerful right now because of how good stims are. If you master stims, um, you can win so many fights with with movement. So definitely the top two perks there in, in the perk two slot. But high alert's also pretty good. Um, unfortunately, high alert is highly countered by cold blood. Um, and almost everybody has that. So really, I would definitely lean toward tempered and restock stims. Uh, and then for perk three, combat scout. Um, if you're going to run combat scout, you should probably put taped grip on your weapons. So taped grip is a new vanguard attachment. That's a rear grip. And it makes it so when you have tape grip on your weapon, you swap away from that weapon as the, at the same speed as with amped. Um, you pull out your second weapon the same speed as you would if you had the amped perk. So basically you get a free perk um, if you put tape grip on both of your primary and secondary weapons. 
which is super super nice that allows you to use a different perk three slot there's also some different uh, um weapon perks so some of the vanguard guns have fleet uh fleet increases your movement speed and increases your weapon swap speed um again that's away from the weapon that you're holding um so if i'm holding a gun that has the fleet perk on it i'll swap to my secondary very very quickly um so you could use that instead of tape grip and still get that that uh, grip attachment Overall, really well-rounded well set of perks here. Um, it's not really working in combination with it in any way. It's just every perk here is good. So they uh, overall, the, the package is very nice. This next set of perks, though, is very um, specialized and specific. This is for someone who's playing very aggressive, pushing teams nonstop. And the perks do kind of uh, work together to combo and be a really good set of perks. So we use double time in perk one slot instead of cold-blooded. Unfortunately, you're going to show up on combat scout, but you're going to be pushing teams So that's not always gonna be that big of a deal um, Basically double time is going to give you double the, the tactical sprint time so you can close gaps much quicker um, And that kind of combos with tracker really well because if you're trying to chase somebody down that you've already damaged a little bit or just in general chasing somebody down that you can see with tracker um, You can get you can catch up to them when they don't have double time pretty much for sure um, double time also comes with the added benefit of that 30% extra move speed while crouched so if you ever need to move silently um, you can just crouch and you'll be able to move 30% faster than you normally would uh, and and be completely silent. Um, and then obviously you pair this with your tempered or restock pretty much, just like I said in the first one. Tempered is great for up close combat because if you get damaged, it's super important that you heal back up as fast as possible and one plate will now do 75. Even if your second plate slot has like five damage done, whereas before that only would have healed you five, now it's going to heal you 75. Um, for this, you don't get amped, so it's really important that you have taped grip or... Uh, that fleet weapon perk that I talked about on both weapons. That way you can still swap weapons really quickly, but this is a super fun combination to run right now in uh, in Vanguard Rail. It's my current favorite. This is what I run pretty much um, exclusively, and I jump back and forth between Tempered and Restock Stims. Both of those are obviously great for, uh, you know, close quarters, pushing, aggressive uh, play style. So for regular BR, there's really only one combination specifically that I want to talk about, um, and that's the kind of cheesy build uh, that I mentioned earlier in the video. Basically, you run cold blooded restock with snapshot grenades and combat scout snapshot grenades have a 30 meter radius now which means that if you throw them in a building you pretty much see everyone in the entire building and where they are um, then you run combat scout and a weapon with high penetration so that's something like an lmg like the pkm the bruin uh the bren things like that um, with the fmj perk the driller perk anything like that for some reason the walls in in caldera really are like paper thin so almost any building is uh has bullet penetration through it um, so you can throw a restock or throw a snapshot and then hit them with your LMG or whatever gun you're using and if they don't have cold blooded combat scout will hit them and you can literally just fry people through the walls. Um, this is way better than it should be in my opinion and it'll work really well especially if you have a team of people doing this together. Um, just kind of a, a crazy combination of perks there and then for the other two recommendations they're literally the same as my Vanguard Royale recommendations just with added ghost. Um, so in perk 2 slot Ghost is also a great option, probably the best option still for regular BR because there are a lot of UAVs. Um, but still, you can get away with tempered, restock, stims, high alert um, for either one of those builds. And for the aggro build, I still think tempered, restock, stims, is, both of those options are going to be just as good as Ghost, if not better. So there's some fun perk combinations out there right now. I really just wanted to make this video to cover all that for you guys, just a quick video. Um, I think the perk meta is in a better spot because of Vanguard Royale than it's ever been before. Um, and that's a lot of fun. If you learned something new, a sub is always appreciated. A like and a comment on the video helps to support my channel as well as the website at no cost to you. I appreciate you guys for all the support forever, uh, and I'll see you all in the next video.